Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a reading from February the 6th through February the 11th. I'm going to pull some cards for you guys and see what messages the universe has for you. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective? These cards are kind of thick. I think I need to shuffle a different way here because I feel like I'm about to lose control of them. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What do they need to know from February the 6th through February the 11th? What messages do the collective need to know from February the 6th through February the 11th? All right, so the first card that came out of the deck is the Six of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Queen of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. And we also have the Three of Swords. So some of you guys could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And you feel like there's no equal give and take with this person. Okay, you may feel like you're doing all of the work and the connection. You may feel left out in the cold. I also see the Three of Swords here. So some of you could be in a third party situation where you're constantly arguing with this person, trying to get them to see your point of view. I see a lot of sadness, um, possible depression, and you're just not feeling good about the connection right now. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Yeah, see, we have the Seven of Pentacles here. So some of you may be wondering, is this worth putting in any more effort? I feel like you've done a lot of work already, and you're not willing to do anything else until this person comes in and show you that they care. Um, some of you could be dealing with an Earth sign, a Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. I do have air here as well. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Yeah, so we have Capricorn here. Confirmation. Some of you are dealing with the Capricorn. We have the Fool card. We have Aries energy. And we have the Ten of Wands. So with this energy coming out here, I feel like some of you are wanting to move away from this connection. Take a leap of faith, you know, um, somewhere else with someone else. You feel like this is very heavy energy that you're dealing with. I feel like some of you go to bed with this on your mind. You wake up with this on your mind. You know, you're asking yourself all throughout the day, like, should I stay with this person? Do they really love me? You know, um, should I walk away and go towards someone else? I feel like some of you also have, um, you have options. But it's something about this person that makes you stay with them. It's like you really love them and care about them. And you're not ready to move away. All right, so these cards came flying out of the deck. So we have four here, so I'm going to take them. We have the Seven of Wands, the Queen of Swords. Some of you could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. We also have the Empress here, Taurus energy. So some of you, um, you may be pregnant by this person or wanting to have a family with them. Also, I'm seeing with the Empress card here, you are realizing your worth and you may be wanting to walk away, like give up on this with the Queen of Swords. Some of you may be cutting this person off or you already have, and maybe you're extremely guarded towards a situation with the Seven of Wands. You may be keeping them back. Maybe they're trying to text you or call you and you're ignoring them, or you just don't want to talk to this person right now. Okay, we also have Sagittarius energy here with the Temperance card. So the universe is saying be patient with this situation or that's what it's going to require. It may require your patience in order for things to balance themselves out. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives from February the 6th through February the 11th? What messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know about their situation? All right, so we have the High Priestess. So your person is keeping secrets here. And I feel like you know it with the Four of Cups because you're trying to reach out to them and you're trying to get this person to love you or communicate with you or um, just put effort and energy into this relationship. For some of you, I feel like you hardly ever see them. You hardly ever see them. You hardly ever talk to them. And you're like, this can't be what this relationship is going to be like. We also have the World. Some of you are ending something here congratulations if you are <laughs> okay some of you are like fed up but for some reason i don't feel like this is the end of the line for you and this person i feel like you may be ending the connection um and you may feel that you have to do this in order to get the results out of this person that you want to see
someone here with the four of cups energy um they feel like you're going to be a missed opportunity so this may cause this person to come in and do the right thing if you walk away from them we have the two of wands here so someone is needing to decide between you and another person could be a fire sign aries leo or a sagittarius that you're dealing with and they may need to decide between you and their child's mother because i did see the empress here yeah we have the moon pisces energy if you're not dealing with the Pisces, someone is hella secretive. You know it. You feel it. The high priestess is here along with the moon. Yeah, this person has something to hide. Not only do they have something to hide, I feel like you're asking them and you're wanting to like talk about it and bring it out in the open. But this person just keeps like um, pushing you away or whenever they say they're going to come around, they never show up or this person may text you. Um, and talk to you for a little bit and then they go oh okay i'm gonna text you later and then you don't hear from them for days and so you know i feel like you don't want to think the worst of your person but you know something is going on behind your back you know it you just don't know what it is i'm picking up the energy that some of you <laughs> may have went went and sat outside your person's house um or follow them just to see if you could catch them doing something or find out more information about them we have the King of Wands and the King of Cups. So some of you are dealing with the Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and we have Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And I just feel like you're just fed up with this person. I don't see that you don't, it's not that you don't love them. It's just you're fed up with their behavior. And it's like you're racking your brains trying to figure out how can I get what I want and need out of them? And if I can't, should I walk away? Should I give this up? Some of you are tired of starting over. You're like, I don't wanna keep starting over. Okay, but you just feel like everyone is playing games and no one's being serious out here. So you may find it hard to find love right now. Yeah, the four of pentacles. Um, some of you, you may be having issues with your person because you feel like they don't have enough money. Maybe you guys can never go out and do anything. Or maybe you want to move or you want to travel. And, you know, this person, they may promise you that they're going to look into this or, or you know, go in go in um half like maybe go in half with you on something and they don't come up with their half i'm also picking up the energy that not only is your person having financial issues this may be something that they're hiding from you they may feel like if they come towards you and tell you that they're having financial issues that you may walk away from them or reject them and may not want to be with them so i feel like someone here is afraid to tell you that they're going through something financially you may already know it but i feel like this person is afraid to let you know what messages do you have for the collectives okay the four of swords so someone also i feel like you guys are dealing with someone who is hiding something from you right but it's not about you it's about someone else that they're either living with they're married to or they're just in a committed connection with because i see um with this four of swords card there's a sword down here that matches your person's energy and then right above there's three swords there third party energy where they're thinking about something and they may be healing from one situation um trying to quiet the storm over there and leaving you out in the cold on the other end and i feel like you just can't figure it out and maybe if you're trying to talk to this person and you can't figure it out that's why because they don't want to tell you what's really going on Oh my god that was too many cards i couldn't take those spirit what messages do you have for the collectives what do they need to know about their situation from february the 6th to february the 11th okay what was that okay so we have scorpio so some of you could be dealing with the scorpio spirit what messages do you have what messages do you have for the collective what do they need to know about their situation Some of you are going to walk away from this situation because of the ace of swords in reverse you don't have enough clarity but i don't feel like your person is going to let you leave i feel like they're going to chase after you and it's really going to piss you off because you're spending all of your time trying to get this connection to work and then as soon as you give up and say you're done with it this person is going to be all over your heels like trying to get you to come back we have the nine of pentacles here so i feel like someone is going to realize your worth um i don't know if this person put you in um put you in put you on a pedestal but i feel like they will 
And I feel like all you have to do is walk away from this. So for some of you, you have more power in this situation than you realize is what the universe is saying here with this nine of pentacles energy coming out. Like you really look good to other people. I feel like you have other options, but for some reason you're just stuck on this person. There's just something about them and you want to be with them. Oh my God, why is all your cards? Somebody wants to talk to you. Like these cards are just flying out of the deck. And they're flying out of the deck at like eight cards at one time. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives from February the 6th through February the 11th? What messages do you have for the collective from February the 6th through February the 11th? Mm, okay, wow. All right, so we have double cancer energy here look at that some of you are dealing with the cancer and you may feel like this person holds back on their emotions it's like they may do it on purpose to be manipulative they won't tell you what they're feeling and thinking i always say um a cancer will tell you what they're feeling and thinking but they want you to go first I don't know why I always notice that with cancers. It's like the ones that I know, it's like, oh, okay, you know, we can talk about feelings here, but you go first. And I feel like maybe this is what someone is doing to you. And they may not be doing it on purpose. It's just that they're really um, extremely emotional when they do go to the depths of their feelings. And so they try to control it surface level because they don't want you to know. So I feel like someone is holding back how they truly feel about you. Maybe they feel if they tell you that you will have control over their relationship, which is dumb, but that's what I'm seeing here. All right, so we have the five of wands. Some of you had an argument with your person and you don't know if things are going to work out. You're, you're afraid. You're feeling like, you know what? This may be the end. You know, this is the argument that we can't come back from. Okay, that's what you may be thinking right now, but that's not true because we have the ace of wands and we also have the hermit. So if this person is holding back from you and they've become very cold and distant, that's because they're doing a lot of thinking. They're trying to see what it is that you guys need to do to move this forward and to continue to build. When I see the Ace of Wands, I do see a fresh start and a new beginning with a lot of passion. I feel like you guys are going to get back on track with someone. Could be a Virgo here with the Hermit card. But I'm also picking up that your person, they may need space and time to themselves a lot. And that may be something that you don't understand because they don't come to you and talk to you about it. They just pull away from you, which doesn't make sense to you. Yeah, I keep seeing the hangman here. Pisces energy. I feel like someone keeps like, pulling back from you and you're like, okay, we're never going to be able to move forward as long as you keep pulling back your energy. So we're going to pull one more and then we're going to get some message cards. Mm -hmm. So maybe you're dealing with an Aries. Wow. And then we have the tower. And we have the Two of Swords. So Spirit said three more. All right. So I feel like, yeah, you, you're going through a tower moment with this person. But keep in mind, the changes are needed. Okay. So try not to stress about the situation that you're going through from February the 6th through February 11th. I feel like you guys are going to overcome it. You know, you're going to come out on top. I feel like you're going to have a conversation with this person. Um, whoever it is that you guys are dealing with, though, they're going back and forth in their head about someone. And if this isn't you feeling this way, this could be your, per I mean, if this isn't you feeling this way about your person, this could be your person feeling this way about you. They could have two people to choose from, or you could. Okay. So let's get some message cards and let's see what else the universe has to say. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives from February the 6th through February the 11th. What do they need to know about their situation? What can they look forward to? What is their person feeling and thinking? Mm, okay. We have escapism. I'm constantly distracting myself to relieve the pain of my reality. So if you could be drinking, okay, just drinking some wine or alcohol, whatever, um, just to try to escape the thoughts and, and things that you have about the situation and the person that you're dealing with. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectives? What do they need to know from February the 6th through February the 11th about their person? What do they need to know about their person? We have children. Children are important to me and it's affecting our connection. Someone may be pulling back because they have children with someone. Maybe this person is threatening them and using the child as a pawn. And so they may be telling them if they come towards you, they can't see their child. We also have lust. 
if only you knew how much I crave you. This person does have a lot of love for you, but I feel like somebody... Okay, okay. These cards wanted to flip out of the deck real bad. Somebody is coming in the way of the connection. Um, We have casual sex. Let's be friends with benefits and leave emotions out of it. We also have left hanging. I'm sorry for leaving you hanging without any explanation. So someone could have walked away from you. They could have ghosted you. And this person, I feel like they're going to come back saying, okay, let's be friends. I want to still be in your life. But I feel like they're not going to make um, a commitment. They're not going to commit here. I don't see some, I don't see like somebody committing here. And I feel like this is what you want. And this is possibly why you're thinking about walking away. I feel like some of you, if you haven't physically walked away from this person, mentally you have. You may have put someone out. Some of you may have been living with this person and asked them to leave. Spare what messages. If you have, I feel like whoever um, you did this to, they're hurting. They're not telling you. Spare what messages do you have? Yeah, we have waiting. Waiting for your return hasn't been easy, but I'm still hopeful. I feel like some of you are not calling this person. You're not talking to them. You may have blocked them on social media, but you're waiting for them to contact you. Well, that's not possible if you block this person. You're going to have to unblock them unless they have other means of communicating with you. But some of you, I feel like you are sad because you can't talk to them. But then you're also trying to teach this person a lesson. Fair, what messages do you have? What messages do you have for the collectives from February the 6th through February the 11th? What do they need to know about their situation? Mm -hmm. Wow. Universe is saying, take some alone time for yourself. Self-love here. I'm learning to love myself and make my happiness a priority. So I feel like some of you are going to be doing that um, from the 6th to the 11th. And then we have alone time. I'm taking the time to be alone and balance my emotions. Yeah, I feel like this person has you all over the place. And then we have obsession. I'm obsessed with you and our memories. It's almost killing me. Yeah, either your person is so sick because you guys are not speaking right now and you're separated or you are, or the both of you are and you're not telling each other. You're being stubborn and holding back. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective and their person from February the 6th to the 11th? We have choices and gossip. I've been talking about you to my friends. And then we have trying to make the right choice so I don't have regrets tomorrow. So whoever you guys are dealing with, they're holding back. But trust me, they're thinking about you. You may be thinking, like, this person don't care about me. They're not calling me. They're not texting me. They block me. No, they're doing that to be manipulative and see if they can get, an act get um, some actions out of you or get you to react in some sort of way. And you're not going for it. And so I feel like you're sort of confused on what's to happen next. And so are they. Spare, so what messages do you have for the collective from February the 6th through February the 11th? We have damaged and apology. Before you date me, understand I'm a damaged and broken soul. Some of you are dealing with someone who just got issues and problems. And they never heal from past relationships. And they just carry it on. And then we have apology. I'm sorry. It's my fault. What can I do to make it right? So I feel like some of you may be getting an apology from February the 6th through February the 11th. So expect it. Also, I feel like communication is going to come in, but it's going to come in like sort of crazy out of the blue unexpectedly. Like this person may just uh, hit you up or communicate with you through a text message you know, saying something really weird like a uh, WYD, expecting you to respond and trying to gauge your madness, trying to see if you're still angry with them um, and, and to see if they can spark a conversation with you. So those are the messages that I have for you from February 6th through February the 11th. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys are going through out there. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Cards Never Lied to Row. I'm also on TikTok at the Empress 522 and I will see you guys next time. Bye.